So I'm still having a look around, jumps in for the Invis room, but oh. bam! Miracle comes in and one hits all it takes to take Zai out as low as the Shaker was sitting. They do have to pull into the Will of Wisdom. Want to try and go on to Miracle, despite not having Zai, but Miracle's still able to blink strike out to safety over towards Kuro. The Sprout's out onto Nisha. GH, he's watching from the side, able to roll in, get the angle onto Puppy, the Magnetize as well, out onto the three of them. Matu jumps in onto Miracle, but the cloud is down. Matu's starting to lose his mana. He has to pop the ult as Nigma start to force back the bear. The trap from Weeha slowing him down. Weeha being able to help out from the grave. Matu will fall, and GH, he's even controlling Yapso. Yapso still has the Astral Step to jump out as well as the Dissimilate, but it's Secret having to retreat here from Nigma. But there's oh, Zai! Oh, he's straight back in! It's a beautiful slam onto the two of them. Straight away blows up Miracle and gets GH2. Oh my god, 2,800 wow. damage. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. They're, they're on the... It was a perfect fake back there from Secret. They're on the retreat. Nigma was chasing them down like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what you run away and then just Zai in from the trees, bam, and they get the big kill. They're able to get Miracle. Things get a little bit hard for Nisha. Yeah, they're, they're playing so well with with how uh, fast and how aggressive they're playing and responding to all the team fights. And I think they're really like, punishing the oh, Ursa's. Miracle, I go to well, Miracle. Oh, Yapsu just gets him on his own. All right, easy kill. Easy kill for Yapsu. We are is going to jump in, trying to chase down Yapsu, but now he's, he's going to die as well. Uh -oh. Yapsu. Just turns it around. Miracle was trying to hit the tower on and my control. And he's dead also. He's trying to TP out, but Zai's able to cancel it. Do they have further disable? He's trying to hide in the trees, pushes them out with the sprout. But again, Yapsaw lays down a remnant. They get all three of them. They just all lost three all cores three cores. Dead because of Yapsaw. Pretty influential, but I guess they just didn't have time to do it this game. No, I think because of the, the defensive way they're about to go, because of the screen and the, the, yeah. the sprout top lane Nisha. Coming in here with the Wukong's command, GH is trapped in it as well as Mind Control being pulled back by the Will of the Wisp. They'll kill off GH first. Now the turn over towards Mind Control. He's surrounded. He needs help. Kuro and Miracle now turning up to the fight. The Wukong's command will shortly Weeha. come to an end. Miracle tries to jump in onto the side, but Yapsil's already out with the Astral Step. They're diving. We are behind the tower. The rest of Nigma, they can't get to him in time. It's too dead. Mind Control stepped in. The smoke screen's out from Miracle. He's trying to help out the Nature's Prophet. Jumping in with the tricks of the trade. They will find the trade onto Matsu's at bear. But Nisha, Jingu Mastery's build up. Another control. From Yapso with the pullback of the remnant. Miracle's trying to jump in the smoke Ooh, the screen smoke. out once more. They step out of it. Zai, huge slam, huge damage onto the Ricky. Miracle falls. Only mind control and Kuro left. It's a perfect Fisher line as well from Zai. Into the boundless strike. Onto the two of them. Secret. They're just destroying Nigma now. My god. This game has fallen entirely out of. Here we go. Miracle. He's going to jump onto Matu, but Matu quickly gets the ult out before the smoke screen's there. They turn onto Miracle. Miracle with the tricks of the trade. Zai jumps to the back lines. Doesn't get Miracle this time, though, and the damage isn't quite enough to instantly kill Mind Control. They're still able to turn onto him. Zai, Fisher out to two of them. Yapso playing with the back lines. Puppy and Zai getting nuked down low by the huge Nature's Wrath. GH keeping the Magnetize, going onto Puppy. Inside the pit, Weeha, he's going for Zai. Will get it. Nisha jumps forward. Nisha trying for Weeha, but he's silenced. Pots the Mantis to remove it. Staying locked down onto Weeha. The pullback, Yapso with the and then grabs the TA. We are hides. Do they have detection? It doesn't need it by the looks of it. They have the AOE. They'll kill him off. Can they actually get on top of them? Nigma's trying. There's the jump. They will look to try and stun up Puppy, trying to stop the threat of the Ice Blast, but in they go with the lasso. Onto Kuro on the back. There's a defensive disruption comes into play. They have killed off Puppy. Puppy buys back immediately. The BKB from Nisha and Matsu coming out as they turn onto Miracle, forcing this morph to back off. There's the Fisher cancelling Kuro's death ward. Miracle with a final waveform gets himself out of the fight. They are surrounding Matsu, and Matsu is actually getting rather low. Puppy turns the chilling touch onto mind control. GH still alive. They're heading in, trying to chase down this Luna. Yapsel, though, in with the slap. Turns the fight straight back around. They get the two kills. They're over towards Mind Control. Four dead on Nigma. Mind Control. Oh. Oh. Dragon Form. They turn. They're able okay. to burst the Shaker. The BKB's out. Puppy has used the Ice Blast. Death Ward and the Coconuts is onto Puppy. Puppy, he's going to go down as well by looks of it. Mind Control, a few more hits, and Puppy will fall. They get the two of them, but now Matu just storms in straight away, pushing them back with the BKB already used on Miracle. He has to get away. Now, the question is. Will they start fountain farming? That's what we want to see. We want to... Oh. They're just going they're in. They're going in. There's the jump. Miracle's out for 100. And I think Nigma might call it. As this is them being dove underneath tier fours. No buyback on Miracle. As they'll get the cast. Maledict and Death Ward onto Puppy. Free fire as well. Puppy's going to go for the TP out and he'll be able to make it back to base. The fish is out on the three of them. Nisha steps forward with the lasso. Drags Weeha. 
side by side to mind control and they'll call it there'll be no chance for the 20 kills this game as this one is well and truly over 35 to 6 38k lead at the end of it all for secret so interesting oh tops it Getting some Zai actually whiffs yeah, the hook shot. In. Samel's popping the rage with the pit, connecting onto two of them. It's going to lock down Puppy over. They're going to Matuma Man. Matuma Man, he's got no BKB for 10 seconds. It's still unavailable. Can they kill him, though? With the rest of Secret turning up, it looks like OG, they've got to back out. They don't have the firepower to kill off Matuma Man, and Topson's going to be caught on the high ground. Yapsor lining up the arrow, connects onto No Tail, Fire Blast into the top. Samel, he's got to turn. He's got to look for something to live steal up on. The pit's down. Midborn helping out from the high ground. Zai pushing Samel back with the cogs. The rage comes to an end. He's trying to get in onto Matu, but the Stun from puppies into play. Zai gets the double kill. Four dead on OG. Secret will clean up yet another fight and continue to bump themselves up in the advantage. 9k lead now for Secret OG. of OG. Samel's going to head up top, try and get some space to push out this top wave, get some money towards his next item, the AC, but he's still very far off from finishing it, and he's going to have to come back and help. They're losing the Zaxa. tier 3. They'll instantly collapse onto Zaxa. Samel pops the rage. He's trying to kill off Matu, but Matu with the BKB with the Satanic. He could just turn, fight back onto Ooh. Samel. Zai controls him with a hook shot. Samel dead without buyback. Secret, they can finish off this mid set of racks and almost certainly go for more now, nearing 20k, it's over it. It's over 20k advantage. Matu and Nisha just farmed to epic proportions this game. And at the same time, being so involved, so active, mid one steps forward, but instantly falls to the damage of Matu. No tail dies in a torrent. This will be a second set of racks for Secret. A secret starting this series off with a bang. Mid one, he brought back for this. An instant death on the Underlord. Topson as well, controlled by Nisha. They're trying their best to, to come up with one last final hold, OG. But they just don't have the, the means to do it. The bottom rack's already gone. Matu, he's ready to roll onto the next game. He's finishing off the tier fours. Samael will be back in 20. Maybe they can go for one more chance there, but when that happens, they're unlikely to have Topson. Disruption saves him from the X mark, drag back, and boy, he's actually able to roll away. Topson will live. But the tier force, they don't have the capability of rolling back to the fountain. They're dead. The ancient's exposed. So is Saxa as he's blown up. Matu pots the BKB. Topson rolls forward to his death. This game's over. Game one is in the bag. Lasso. It's going to be Sumail. Out he goes. He does have the BKB in the battle chance. If he gets the chance to pop it, but the fear, the push. Oh, big one. He'll buy him a little bit of time. That gives him time to put the BKB, put the battle charts. Samael will live a little bit and is actually able to bring down Puppy. Over to which Yapsor goes. Yapsor. Samael, he's getting the kills. That's the second one. It's a double kill for Samael. But now he's got to run. That's the battle chance down and the BKB. Topson and mid one dead. Shackle from okay. Saxa does latch Zai onto the tree, onto the creep. Zai's able to force out of the base, but there's the Reaper Scythe down onto Saxa. Samael is going to get beaten and eaten by the bear. They'll force him to the side, but Matu will chase on forward. Zion as well with the clumsy net has the control. Samael's dead. Buyback from him on the troll. A secret. They're just they're just going after the kills now. It, it's a 28k lead. Nisha. A full abyssal on Matu. Nisha, is just, he just clicks the, the ghost shroud button, and then there's no magic damage like we were saying. Now he's got a ghost scepter too. Oh, they've got the Will-O-Wisp on him. Shackle as well. Nisha, okay. he's oh. got to be worth about a million quid if they can kill him, but they can't. They're not killing him. They're not. Now well, maybe they are. Can well, they maybe. kill him? Go Ghost shroud back up again. Nisha's running. If they can kill this man. And they can't kill him. Oh, they can't kill him. Oh, there's a black hole. Puppy just finds Samel on the back. Samel will back for this. That's a black hole dead troll. Jump forward onto mid one. As it might be, it might be time for bedtime. I think it's bedtime. Oh, I think bed. it's bedtime. It's bedtime. GG is called. Secret will win game three. Easy chance of charging him, finding Lasso's mid lane. Charge four from mid one. They're committing with the swashbuckle as well. Turn around oh, onto mid one. He's been loose and being chased from Yaps, or he's going to have the, the remnant up in five seconds. They turn upon him. Reaper Scythe down onto No Tail, making sure that there's no save and that the rest of OG have to continue to run. Without their Oracle, they don't have the safety to keep the fight going. The Remnant's out, but it won't catch anyone. Mid one, he's actually going to charge straight back in. There's a buyback from No Tail. They have the outpost control. No Tail's going to TP across. OG are going to try and turn this. They're able to blow up Matsu Saxon with a three man rolling thunder, but OG, they're just falling apart here despite their willingness to take this fight with that buyback from No Tail. So it should be pretty quick for them to pick. However, rolling thunder is up again for Saxon. Right, so got to go for this. 
I mean, in a game where you're behind, Sax has got to try and find a way of getting in with the Thunder. Already, though, Nisha starting the fire outside the pit. Zips in onto No-Tail. Sax goes with the Rolling Thunder. They are low on mana on Nisha, but Yapso has got the coverage as he comes in with a hook shot. The Cogs onto Midbon, trapping the Batrider. Saxon does continue to keep Puppy locked down, but Puppy still gets the chance to pop the time lapse. Matthew's finished off Roche. He has the Aegis and he's ready to turn for the fight. Bill. Nisha still alive as Saxon couldn't quite finish him. Midbon's trying to get him done with the Firefly, but Nisha will live with the one charge. Just tops and jumps in. Finally able to finish him. They get the kill onto the Storm Spirit. Now focusing down Yapsor. Topson, can he get another? He can. Yapsor will fall, but now Matu, he's beating into the Void Spirit. Topson left with no further escape to get anything done in this match, anything done in this series as a whole. A secret just on the, the, the highest of forms. Once again, something that we're becoming very accustomed to see from this team, as that is Saxa dead. Die back on the Pango, 70 seconds, he's out. Secret will clean up the mid lane. They'll head down towards the bottom. OG, of course, they are going to still play on. This is the, the end of the line here for OG in this Grand Finals. They've got to give it their all. They've got to try, see if they can find themselves a miracle. But at this point, they're going to need more than one. They can't even As get a kill. Again, the Hex from Zai. It's out onto Mib one. Mib one goes down. Hook shot fall from Yapso. Straight in onto Topson. Topson jumps over to the side, but Nisha's still got the mana to follow up. Zips in. Three dead on OG. GG is called. And Secret are your champions of the Blast Dota Bounty Hunt. They do it with a 3 0 against OG in this grand finals. And every single game was so darn brutal, Fog. There was nothing close.